Welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Let's continue the game. Um, in the last part, I left the police station after battling Nemesis for a second time. Um, in this part, I'm going to go to the restaurant and encounter him for a third time. Um, as I stated in the last video, um, Nemesis will either appear in the press office or in the restaurant. Um, if you go to the restaurant first, he appears there. If you go to the press office first, he appears there. Um, in both instances, um, you are given a choice. Um, you can either escape him. Um, in the press office, you jump out of the window into an alley um, that's, uh, that's only accessible um, via that choice. At, um, and that's because the door is, is locked from the other side. Um, but yeah, you either escape... Um, or, and in the restaurant you escape by going down to the basement and then going inside an air vent and then coming outside the restaurant again, out the back of the restaurant. Um, or, um, you can kill him instantly, um, although it's only temporarily though, um, and that will make him drop his item. Um, but yeah, he isn't properly dead, so you can either battle him to make him properly dead, or just run away from him and, until the encounter ends, um, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, if you do want to get rid of him permanently, though, it's best to it's best to defeat him while you have um, a new character with you because he has a machine gun and he will help you. So if you leave um, if you leave before defeating him, um, uh, uh, the other character won't be able to help you. So, uh, but it's not it's not really worth it anyway because he doesn't drop another item. Um, it just gets rid of him permanently. Um, Nemesis will eventually go once you unlock the door. And go into the door to the um, to the city hall, and that's after using both gems. Um, if you encounter Nemesis in the restaurant, the gem will be in the press office. If you encounter him in the press office, the gem will be in the basement of the restaurant. But yeah, um, if I want to, if you want to get the files in order, <coughs> um, you need to go to the restaurant first. I suppose you can go to the press office first, not get any files, and then go all the way back to the restaurant, and then, uh, and then. Uh, if you get the files there, you can then get the files in order at the press office afterwards. But um, if you haven't sorted Nemesis out properly, like I'm not going to, um, Nemesis will be chasing you the entire time. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to the restaurant first. Uh, they have taken everything from me, everything. But I won't give up, I won't allow them to win. I will survive, they can't stop my last escape. Okay, yeah, so... Um, it. It's easier if you if you go to the restaurant first. Anyway, we need the lock pick, which is here. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so if you if you go to the press office, you can make Nemesis drop his item without properly killing him um, by hiding in the back, and something explodes and it kills him, and he drops his item, but he gets up. So it isn't properly killing him, but you can get his item. The trouble is, if you kill him, if you kill him properly afterwards, he doesn't drop another item. So there's no point in doing it. Um, here, if you hide in the kitchen instead of going down to the basement, then he drops his item. His item is a first aid box, um, which you saw, uh, which you saw in easy mode. Anyway, it's locked with a simple lock. Will you use the lock pick? Yes. Okay. Inside is a fire hook. <coughs> Pardon me. Is a fire hook. Um, it's um, it's a bit like the the manhole cover um, uh, the manhole cover opener from the second game, but it's now a fire hook. <clears throat> um, let's check. Its edge is in the shape of a hook. It must be used to hook something. Okay. Yeah. So he drops a first aid box that has three first aid sprays in it, uh, which is really handy. Um, and you can also put new first aid sprays in there that you find in there, but it, it only holds a maximum of three, so you have to use one before you can do that. Okay, um, Okay. before we do that, there might be some gunpowder in here. First of all, the lamp is lit. Did I read this? I can't remember. No, I didn't. Uh, flammable gas is leaking. Okay, so that becomes important later. Okay, before we do the manhole cover thing, let's have a look over here. There's a file to read. Yep, here it is. Okay, this is the city guide. <clears throat> okay. Here it is, um, the city guide. 
OK, uh, the city guide, the tracks of our city. Uh, dear citizens, thanks to the kind and generous people of Umbrella Inc., this is a peaceful and friendly city. The vast donations from Umbrella Inc. Have, have been used for welfare work, the construction of public utilities, and to help maintain public peace. In 1992, it was my fifth year as mayor of our beautiful city. It was then that through many donations and hard work, our city was able to rebuild the municipal building and create a state-of-the-art hospital. They missed out and there, I think. Um, in honour of these fine accomplishments, I was awarded with a grand s statue that same year. Uh, the statue rests in the municipal building. I came to this city as an engineer more than 35 years ago. I made contributions to the electric systems and to the installation of the cable car. I pledged to follow the tradition of this... Is it traditional traditions? Yeah. I pledged to follow the tradition of this fine city and will devote my life to its prosperity. The mayor of the city, Michael Warren. Okay, that's that, the city guide. Okay, there might be some gunpowders over here. If they're not here, they might be in the... I know they are here. Yeah, I think if they're not here, they're in the press office. So take them. Uh, two gunpowder rays. <coughs> okay, so we're about, um, we're about to make Nemesis appear. But um, we can make him drop his item uh, without actually having to fire a single bullet. So let's use the fire hook. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> What's that? Calm down, lady. I'm no zombie. My name's Carlos, Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill, did you just say you belong to Umbrella's army? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians. But the mission went bad the minute we landed. No way! How did he find me? Okay, here's a choice. Um, we can either hide in the basement or run into the kitchen or something. Uh, if you want to hide in, oh, it's hide inside the kitchen, yeah. Or you can run into the basement. Over here. Yeah, this one. What's he doing? Sort of gesturing with his hand. Okay, yes, yeah, so this will make him drop his item without having to uh, having to kill him. <clears throat> Are you crazy? You could have barbecued both of us. Okay, I'm afraid we are crazy. Okay, so he's dropped his item. Now, there's nothing in the basement, but I would like to show you what's in there. Yeah, here's the first aid box. Yeah, so he's not properly dead yet. Um, yeah, the encounter isn't over, unfortunately. It can hold up to three first aid sprays. Yes, that's really nice. Yeah, so we can go in the basement now, um, but if you do, when I come back out again, um, Nemesis will be here uh, running around. <clears throat> and I don't want to fight him, and it's difficult to get past him. So I'll show you what's in the basement later once we make Nemesis uh, disappear. Okay. And he's up already. Here we go. And he's not happy because he's taken his item. Okay, leave. I need to ask you something. Why did Umbrella send your team here? Our mission is to rescue the civilians. How kind of you. Considering Umbrella caused all this in the first place, those liars! Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. <clears throat> no time for talking. If you can believe me, then join us. Think about it! Um, if you actually defeated Nemesis in there with Carlos's help, um, I think the conversation is longer. I, th I think she says, let me ask you something, then he says, yeah, you want to ask me out? Um, it's my accent. All all the foxy ladies love my accent, or something. And then, uh, and then she says uh, something like, "What? Keep dreaming, or something like that." And um, and then she asks about the uh, the umbrella thing. Uh, but yeah, okay, Nemesis might appear. Yep, here he is. Quickly run to the save room. Quick, he's coming. Good. Yeah, so if you want to defeat Nemesis to stop him from chasing you, it's best to do it in the restaurant because Carlos is helping you is helping you with his machine gun, but I'm not going to do that because it's a waste of ammo. Um, you will most likely lose more health um, trying to defeat him rather than what you'll lose uh, from running away from him. He might get the odd hit in when we're running away from him, but nowhere near as much as what um, he will do if we try to defeat him. You know, he'll pick us up and grab us and everything and, and then try to do the tentacle thing. Anyway, so we're going to have to run away from Nemesis while we go to the press office, which is annoying. Okay, we don't need the lockpick. Let's get the uh, 
loading tool out. We just need to go to the press office and sort that out. Okay, 17, that's nice. And what's, uh, what do we get for this one? Ooh, even more. Uh, for, for that one, um, that one gave us 20 bullets. Really nice, we're up to 185 bullets in total now. Okay, I'm going to keep the first aid sprays on me just in case Nemesis starts going crazy on me. Okay, and uh, what do we need? We need the gem, yeah, don't forget the gem because we can... Uh, the way to make Nemesis disappear is to use the two gems and go through the door, then that makes him go away permanently and for some reason our gun is put away. Okay, so we're going to have to run away from Nemesis for a while, so we're going to get that scary sort of music for a while and encounter Nemesis, but there's no point in killing him. He might be through here. There's no point in killing him again in this encounter because he's already dropped his item. It'd just be a waste of ammo and health. He's going to be in here. Yep, here he is. Quickly. Right, there's a dead body in the left corner there. That, uh, not that one, in the other corner near the gate. Uh oh, quick. Oh, yeah, in the other corner that will, uh, yeah, that has some handgun bullets on it. Anyway, um, we might hear a roar at some point if Nemesis, if we haven't dealt with Nemesis yet. You know, there's a first aid spray there. Push this obvious looking item over here. Just before you do though, go over here and pick up the photo. That's part of the file. Um, photo B, a close-up shot of a zombie. Um, it says scoop on the back side. Okay, are we getting them in order? Yes we are, yeah, there's the, uh, the city guide and the photo. Okay, now there are two more files upstairs, don't miss them. Otherwise, we'll, otherwise we won't be getting them in order and it will muck it up. I think after we press the button we hear a roar from Nemesis or something. There's no power going to the switchboard. Will you turn on the power? Yes. No? No roar? Okay. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's his roar. It's a switch for the fireproof shutter. Will you turn it on? Yes. Okay, Nemesis, in my experience, doesn't appear af until after we get the gem, so uh, we're okay for now, I think. Yeah, this always happens. Don't worry about it. That hurt us. No, good. Yeah, that always happens. I hope that didn't hurt us anyway. Doesn't matter. We have loads of health now. Might be a zombie in here. Yeah, if we if we meet Nemesis here, we jump out of this. Well, there's the option of jumping out of this window or hiding in that room to the left. If we jump out of the window, we go to that um, that alleyway that's only accessible via this way, but it's blocked from the other. It's locked from the other side of the door. Um, and if we hide in there, then we get to kill him by some weird explosion that happens and take his item. An arrow path can be seen from the window. Okay, zombie. Here he is. You dead? Yeah. Doesn't matter, I have loads of ammo. Okay, here, make sure you get the gem. That's here if you went to the restaurant first. If you went to the, here first, it would be in the basement of the restaurant. I'll show you that later. I'll show you where it would be. Okay, so it's both gems. There might be some. No, no handgun ammo. I mean, no, um, no gunpowder because that was at the restaurant. Okay, there are two files here. Make sure you get them. I think this one is first. Files on bizarre incidents are scattered around. Yep, yeah, pick up the photo. Yep. Yeah. Photo C, the police have been destroyed. You've taken the photo C, there's one more I think. There's one more around here. Are we getting them in order? That's the main thing. Yes we are. I think there's one more in here. I'll have to look around for it. Nope, where is it? There's this file. There's another file around, is that it? Where is it? Okay, excuse me one moment. Sorry about that. I'm just trying to find. Um, I just looked up trying to find where this damn reporter's memo thing is. 
It says it's on some boxes near the... Uh, Oh, there it is, yeah. Yeah, it's on the boxes near the uh, radiator, it said. I didn't want to miss it, because I really want to get these in order to get Jill's diary, so... Um, I just had to look up quickly where it was, because I was, you know... Uh, as was pretty obvious, I was really struggling to find it. Anyway, here's the reporter's memo. Um, at last, I have found the evidence I need to prove that the cannibal disease is indeed happening in this city. One man actually ate people to death. He was like a savage animal tearing away a new flesh. It was completely disgusting. I have heard rumours that many people are also suffering from this disease now. However, the causes of the disease is not yet known. Is this another mystery of the present disease? I will have to check on it. They have placed Raccoon City under martial law because of the cannibal disease. I have lost contact with the media outside of the city, but I won't give up. As a journalist, I won't keep my eyes shut and walk away. I have a duty to the people and my profession. I don't think the disease has spread nationwide yet. I believe that this city holds the key to its creation and cure. In fact, I'm sure of it. The military has set up blockades around the city to keep people from escaping and spreading the disease. Most of the citizens have either died or have come in contact with the disease. I know that it is the right decision to quarantine the city, but I can't help but pity myself. If I am infected or eaten, it doesn't matter. My fate is already sealed. All I have left is my journalism. I won't give up until I solve the mystery of this deadly disease. I have just discovered that the, the disease is not spread through the air, but by some other means. You've taken the reporter's memo. Yeah, um, I often miss that one. That's... Uh, uh, that's, pr uh, that's probably why. It's difficult to find. I mean, you know. Anyway, Nemesis is going to appear just around the corner. So, we have to run now. Here we go. Uh-oh. Oh no, he's grabbed us. Get up. See you later. Yeah. Uh, it's difficult to run past him there, but it's not worth killing him because you'll lose more health. You'll lose more health trying to get rid of him rather than just running away, so it's never worth um, fighting him here. He's hardly hurt us, really. Anyway, and we're just about to get rid of him anyway because um, all we have to do is use the gems on, on the clock thing and then uh, and go through the door and then that's it at the end of the encounter. And we already have his items, so there's nothing you can do about it. He might appear here. No, he's being friendly today. He's, yeah, n normally, when I'm trying to put these gems in, he's sort of... Um, he's running around now. Okay, let's put these gems in. Let's check them. Uh, a sapphire shining in blue. Okay. I don't know why this door only opens with the clock. Uh, you know, um, uh, I can't see the point of it. And it seems that this is not enough to make the device to work. Is that what they said? You know, yeah. I mean, why are the gems so easy to take? It just doesn't seem doesn't seem right. An emerald shining in green. Okay, yeah, so why does the right time only come on when the gems are in there? Who designed this thing? Okay, so go inside this door. Raccoon City Hall door. And that's the end of Nemesis. Uh, for now, this encounter is now over. So that's all you have to do. That's why it's easier if you go in the restaurant first and get his item. Well, if, if you do want to run away from him and, um, and get his item without battling him. Yep, now he's gone. That's the end of him. Okay, on this body, as I said, there's some handgun bullets. We now have 109, which is mad. Okay, you can also shoot uh, these things here. I'll just waste a bullet shooting one. Nah, I missed. Come on. Nah, it's being annoying. Come on. Don't make me look stupid. There we go. Thank you. Five bullets I wasted there. Yeah, you can use that to kill some... Uh, you can kill some enemies with it, but it's not really that worth it because yeah I mean they have to be in the perfect place I think some crows come here eventually anyway let's put some items away and get some items out we need the rusted crank and the um, yeah that's that's what we need the rusted crank let's go and, let's go and get that now I'd like to do several things before ending this video uh, let's put that away might as well put this away as well we won't need that seeing as nemesis is gone let's get a uh, no, it's not a good green air about. There'll be another one on the way. Uh, what else do we need? Might as well take the power cable with us. Yeah, that'll do. Good. Okay, let's go. I think I don't need any more items. Oh, yeah, I need the rusted crank, don't I? Um, of course. Uh, that's why I came here. Right. Oh, yeah, I was going to show you the, re uh, the restaurant basement, wasn't I? I'll show you that quickly. Rusted crank. Come on, don't make me cranky. Good. <clears throat> yeah, so 
Um, I'm pretty pleased with that result actually from Nemesis. He only, he only grabbed us once and I ran away from him. I thought it would be harder to get away from him because uh, it is sort of cheeky taking his item and then going but it's the best thing you want to do really because there's no point killing him again because he doesn't drop another item until the next encounter at which point he, he, he will drop the shotgun parts A look forward to that, ok let's have a look down here, go down the ladder, yep yeah this music just in the restaurant now, we won't be hearing this music again for a long while yeah uh, uh, but don't worry we will hear it again Anyway, the green gem, if you'd gone to the press office first, would be here on this man. His chest has been ripped into and torn apart. And there's the, uh, if you chose to escape down here, you would, uh, you could es you could escape there through this air vent. I think you stand on Carlos's back or something. Anyway, there's nothing else down here. Uh, it's a freezer. Yeah. Yes, uh, uh, yes, that's it. I think if also you go to the press office there and you want the, the gem from here, there are zombies uh, roaming around down here. Who knows how they got there? But there's loads there. Maybe when people uh, things started going crazy, they just sort of uh, uh, they just sort of chucked them down the hole and left them there. But, but yeah, that uh, the gem is on that man. Uh, but I do recommend if you do take that route of going to the press office first, that you do take care of Nemesis because you have to go back and forth a bit more. Anyway, we have the rusted crank, don't we? Right now we're going all the way into the into the city hall area. Okay, a few things to sort out there, and then I'm going to go to one more place and then save the and then save the game. Come on, we took the bullets from the dead man, didn't we? Make sure you always check corpses in this game; they usually carry stuff. Although this corpse over here has nothing. No, there's nothing on that corpse. Oh yeah, there's also this door over here. <coughs> <clears throat> See, this is the door that you would have gone to, or rather, you would have gone to the other side of it. It's locked from the other side. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the alley that you go into if you jump out of the window if Nemesis appears in the press office. So, but there's nothing in there. Absolutely nothing in there. <coughs> Pardon me. There seems to be something in my throat. Okay, now remember those herbs from earlier that I picked up. Luckily, those three ones. If they if you if they weren't there, they would be beyond this door. But we still can't get beyond this door yet. The door is stuck from the other side and won't open. Eventually, once we come back through here, some zombies will go. Uh, some zombies will burst open through there. Will burst out of there, and the three herbs will be in there. Don't go down the right yet. Go down the left. <clears throat> yeah. So that's where those herbs would be. That's why it's pretty lucky to get them early because otherwise they're all the way there. I mean, I mean, we still can't get them. Okay. There's an ankle biter here. Let's take care of him. Oh no, I'm turning for some reason. I'm turning again, why do I keep doing that? Why won't this person die? Blimey, you took a lot of bullets. I know I wasted some, but still, you, you wouldn't stop. Let's run past this man. Another man there. And there's a corpse there. That car door will burst open when we come back. And inside there's a gunpowder B, I think. <clears throat> Damn, that ankle biter took a lot of bullets. Yeah, for some reason, yeah, this controller, like in Resident Evil 2, it keeps sort of turning when I press down. It sometimes turns because the D-pad is sort of connected. It's a bit awkward. It's a PC control. It's a USB PC controller. That's that's based on a PlayStation 2 con a PlayStation 1 or 2 controller. Anyway, there are two herbs here. I will I will get them now. Yeah. Loads of handgun ammo. I mean. I don't think we'll run out now, to be honest. <clears throat> we have far too much, especially as we run as we ran past these zombies. Okay, there's an oil drum in here. You can use it to kill some zombies, so make sure you do. There's a speedy zombie as well, I think. Wait for it. Go for it. There we go. Okay. There's uh, 14, 14 shotgun shells here. Yep, I was right. 14 shotgun shells. Good. I got all those zombies. Right, climb over here. Go to the other side. Now. Try not to shoot the barrel here because if there's a barrel at the end here on its side, and if if you shoot the if you shoot the barrel, you won't get a cutscene involving it later. But it's ankle biter. It's two ankle biters. Okay, yeah. Um, if you if you leave the barrel there, eventually there's a new character about to meet called um, Mikhail. I'm turning again. 
There's a new character called Mikhail. And if you come back here at some point, he will be shooting some zombies and he, he will kick the barrel and, and then shoot it and explode it in a cutscene. If you do... If you do shoot the barrel, um, don't worry, you can still get the cutscene, but um, Mikhail will throw a grenade instead. So that's how it's different. But but you can use the barrel there if you want to do it. I suppose I should have done, really, because it's a bit of a waste, but I wanted to show you the cutscene. Okay, did we bring the power cable with us? We did, good. Okay, okay read this first. Mechanics Memo. I know that you're intimidated by your new job, Kevin, so let me tell you how to make sure that you and your trains get along just fine. Uh, you see, these carriages were made in 1968 and then imported from Europe. Sometimes they get rickety, but they still work because they are simple, stubborn and strong. Um, we can always depend on them. If they have a bad day and, and are malfunctioning, you'll need to take a, good, take a good look at their circuits for any trouble. Once you discover what's wrong, you'll be able to fix it easily. Um, I'm sure that you'll be able to avoid those nasty little malfunctions if you check the parts every day. These old trains will surely have problems if you don't remember to check them out. Just remember that if you need to replace anything, you have to choose a suitable part. When I say suitable, I mean that even if you can't find another original part, you'd better find something that works good enough. Or he means well enough. Um, even with regard to oil, you must always prepare good quality oil for these trains. Never forget, Kevin, that a man may betray others, but a machine won't. Okay, you've taken mechanics memo. Now let's have a look at this. Uh, some of the parts seem to be out of order. The power cable is disconnected, the fuse is broken, and the mixed oil has been used up. Okay, so we have the power cable, but we still need the fuse and the mixed oil. Okay, so we need two more items. Some of the parts seem to be out of order, the fuse is broken, and the mixed oil has been used up. Yes, yeah, so that's why we needed the power cable. Oh. You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Ugh. Hey, is someone wounded back there? Yeah, Nikolai doesn't sound impressed. Um, um, yeah, because he, he's a mercenary. He's been all around the world. I mean, it's, it's a lot more, you know, a lot more challenging than local police really anyway oh this looks bad uh, they're coming get ready uh, uh, fire fire stay together calm down you're safe now everything is gonna be okay hey check again no don't come any closer stay away Okay, let's go through the door. Yeah, the other door in here is locked. I forgot to show you that. That's why you have to go in through the back, uh, the other door. So, Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. No, we can't trust her. Why? But, Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Mm, fine. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people, let's get moving. Jill, put this on. Okay, Carlos has, um, has kindly given us a, a side pack, and that means we can hold an extra two items. That's really nice. Okay, also over here is a wrench. Make sure you pick that up. Or an adjustable spanner, as I like to call it. Anyway, okay, let's get out of here now. You've opened the lock here. Yeah, this door was locked from the other side, so you have to... Uh, I didn't check it before, but that's why you have to go in the back way and check the, 
parts and have that conversation with Nikolai first. Anyway, let's go all the way. Uh, uh, let's, go, let's go all the way back to the other route now. How much item space do I have? Uh, okay, I'm going to use the crank, so that will be gone soon. Okay. So I need some item space for where I'm going. I don't want to have to go back to the save point yet. Okay. Those zombies are still going to be there. And that, oh yeah, that bloke's going to crash out of the out of the car door. That'll give me three items. No, I'm going to have to go and back to the save point and quickly. There he is. Right, let's shoot him. Don't you dare. Okay, nab this. Oh no, he's turned into an ankle biter. Uh, this is a problem. Okay, let's do it now. Alright, there we go. Not bad. Is he dead? Nope. Stay down. Okay, yeah, some gunpowder in here. So you want to nab that. I think it's gunpowder B. I'll run back. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to have to run back to the... Uh, okay, run pop. Run past this. Uh, can I make it? Yes, I can. Good. Yeah, run back to the save point quickly because there's a lot of items to pick up where I'm going. And I don't want to end the video. I want to do this just before I end the video. So we're gonna have to go back to the save point quickly and uh, drop off some items, which means I shouldn't. I, I needn't have bought the rusted crank. But oh yeah, this bit. Oh no. Oh good. Oh no. How are we doing for health? Better use a greenie. Uh, actually, because I've done that, I don't really need to... Uh, I'll deal with them later. I'll go over here now. Yeah, seeing as I've had to use that green herb. Although, I might as well kill them while I'm here. Go on. Nope. Might get some headshots. Yeah, uh, you want to kill these ones. These ones are pretty irritating. They're difficult to get past. Okay, um, I'm uh, actually, I'm going to go back, take this thing now, yeah, we need to take this, a bronze statue of Raccoon City Mayor Michael Warren, there's a switch, will you push it, yes, uh, it's holding something in his in its hand, yeah, take the, the bronze book, we'll deal with that later, okay, we need to put something else in there, yeah, if you, the herbs from earlier, they would be here, the ones that were past the police station in the last video, they would be right there, but they're, they're not, because they were there earlier, so it's a pretty... It's pretty nasty if they're not earlier because you have to wait all the way till until yeah, here to get them and kill loads of zombies before you get them. You know, there's five uh, five zombies guarding them, but that's how you get in that place. The zombies have to break it out for you. Yeah, I thought I'd have enough items. I thought because I used that green herb, I'd have enough item slots. No. Yeah, I think that was Carlos. Anyway, um, that doesn't matter. Um. I think there are zombies there now as well, they've come back. Anyway, um, let's put the shotgun shells away. Don't need them. Nice number of them as well. Might as well use the loading tool and use these ones as well. Oh, eight now, that's nice. Yeah, that means we're making progress. We're getting closer to the enhanced ammo. We're getting eight uh, per handgun B, um, gunpowder B now, which is quite good. Okay, that's 32 in total. Let's put the book away. We won't need that for a while until the next video. Put the loading tool away. That's pretty much all we need. Let's go. Okay, I'm quickly going to sort out the petrol station, the gas station, and I'm going to get out of here. Yeah, I think that was Carlos we heard. Yeah, there were zombies. Ah, oh, zombies here now. No. Oh, good. That, uh, that works. Don't have to waste too much ammo. It's really eating up my ammo now. Luckily, there was some. I think there's some gunpowder coming up. We can make some more ammo from that, which I will do. I might be able to make the enhanced ammo for it next video as well, which is good. Yeah. Yes, the, the headshot thing with the Desert Eagle. It's, it's useful, but it's too unpredictable. I mean, you can't rely on it. it? Oh, ankle biters, and yeah, forgot about them. Yeah, so. It's too unreliable. Never rely on the headshot thing. It's just a, uh, it's, it's just a bit of luck, really, if you get one. I mean, never rely on getting a, a headshot. Uh, 
Okay, now here, did I bring... Yeah, good. Okay, here, check this. There's a hex-shaped hole. Okay, so use your crank. Hex-shaped cra uh, rusted crank. Rusted hex crank. But oh no, the handle comes off. Luckily, we have the, the spanner or wrench, and we can use that. Although this doesn't make any sense, because how, how does Jill hold the thing up while she's doing it? Because she keeps taking the, the wrench off. I mean, if I were doing it, I'd just hold the wrench and just sort of wind it round like the crank, like you would with the crank, but luckily we don't have to watch all of it. But we still need the wrench for something, so there's one more thing we need the wrench for. Remember that fire hose we saw? Yeah, we need it for that, and then we can discard it. Okay, oh good, the, uh, the, uh, the gunpowder is here, good. Okay, there's three lots of gunpowder A's, uh, or gunpowders A. Take them all, of course. There's also a first aid spray, and we also... Uh, we're also meeting a rather a new friend again. There we go, and there's the other one. That's it, good. Okay, let's go around the back. Are we getting the files in order? We are, good. Mechanics memo, good. Good. I'm really paranoid about it. Um, really paranoid about that. That's... Jill! Hey, the zombies are getting restless. I know. I can hear them. What's going on? Okay. Jill! What's wrong? They're coming. They must have sniffed us out. They know we're here. Hey, calm down. Any objections to my playing hero this time? What are you doing? Carlos! I can't remember when there was an objection before to your playing hero, but okay. Okay, let's go and see what he's up to. Eat this! Ah! Okay, let's see what happens to him. Carlos! No! Relax. I'm not dead yet. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, that hero stuff is harder than it looks. Okay. I'm gonna scrounge up some equipment. There might not be any at our destination. Scrounge up. I like that. Okay, yeah, so that, uh, that was nice. Let's go back in here. Let's have a look around here first, see what's over here. Absolutely nothing. Uh, it's soaked with machine oil. Right. There's nothing in there. Okay, here we get a first, another first aid spray. That's handy. I'll be needing them, of course, because I, I don't think I'm, this is going to... This is obviously not a playthrough without using them, because I've already used two on Nemesis. So, well, um, as, a, as a fort Nemesis. Anyway, uh, there's one more item in here. Is there any files or anything to pick up here? An untidy counter. No, there's nothing in here. Okay. Um, anything on the wall? No. Nope. I just want to check everywhere. I don't want to miss a file. Car wash equipment. No, there's nothing else in here. Okay, let's have a look over here. Have a look at this thing. It's a storage... It's a storage... To maintain the temperature level of the oil, will you operate the electronic lock? Yes. Again, now this is really easy. Now what we have to do is, um, we have to. If you see one of the letters is lit up, that means we need the uh, the light that's above B um, um, to be. Um, what we need is for only that light above B to be on. Okay, so we need to turn the other ones off somehow. But what we have to do is just press. Uh, when you press a button, it turns the one off, the, the one next to it off. So that one, and it turns the one. Well, uh, if you press D, for example, it turned the D on, but it turned the one next to it off. Uh, so now we need to press the uh, 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 the C button, I think. Then press the B button. That's it. Yeah. yeah it's a really easy puzzle. So now we need D. So press the uh, press the A button and press the B button and then press the wait a minute press the D button and now I've mucked it up a bit B uh, A 
C, and then press D again, and then D, no, wait a minute, I can get this. If not, just muck around until you get it. And then D, oh, I've done it again, I just need D to be on. Okay, B, C, there we go, yep. Okay, um, now we just want the A to be on, so D, C, and then B, and then A. No, it's done that thing again. C, B, D, and then B. Yeah, this should do it. Yeah. There we go. So, uh, so that's the puzzle. But if you're having difficulty with it, just keep pressing it and you'll eventually get it. There's no time limit. Um, will you take the machine oil? Yes. Well, then why anyone would want their lock system to be like that? I don't know. Why would you want your lock system to be a puzzle? Yeah, imagine if that, you know, with your house lock, you know, oh, I need to put this in. I mean, anyway. We've taken the machine oil. Now, this isn't the, the oil we need for the, uh, the train thing. Uh, oil for small machines. It can't be used for the large size machinery by itself. Yeah, um, it's only for small machines. We need to add something to it to make it. Did I say umbrella on the cabinet? You know, yeah, so we need to use the. Uh, we need to add something to it to make it the oil for the train thing. An untidy counter. Okay, now this happens. Remember that oil floor thing? Yeah, randomly a spark comes and Jill just makes it before it explodes. And somehow flames are in front of her, but she didn't get burnt, so it must have lit up everywhere except around her. Anyway, quickly leave, and then this happens. Okay, run away. And a cutscene. A proper cutscene this time. Okay, after this, we're not allowed back at the petrol station. It's it's completely totaled. That's the end of it. Complete, completely demolished. I think you can escape here with Carlos if you didn't see Carlos in front of the thing or something like that. You could you'd run away with Carlos, Carlos, and Carlos would say he's scrounging up equipment here instead of back there. So, so. Anyway, that's that done. Right, let's go and save the game now because that's it really. Right, there are two more. Uh, 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 there are two more files to get. Oh, there's a zombie there. Two more files be before we go on the train thing. Oh no! Actually, let's just go. I, I still need to kill him though because because I've already put some bullets into him and he'll be here on the way back. Right, there we go. There is another corpse there though. Is he dead? I need to wait to see if he's dead or not. Yeah, he's finished. Okay, let's quickly go back, save the game. This video's run on a bit, but I wanted to do lots of stuff in this video. We can quickly combine the the gunpowders and see if we have enough to make the enhanced ammo now. Yeah, eventually there, uh, eventually there will be crows here. And I can't remember when, but there will be eventually, annoyingly. Yeah, there are two more files to get in this area before we use the train. There's another zombie down there. Where is he? Oh, he's in there. Okay, ignore him. Yeah, zombies have returned here. Right, let's put the stuff away. We won't need the wrench. Wait a minute, will we? Yeah, we need the wrench still, actually. Put the first aid spray away. Not that, but that. There. There we go. Okay, uh, let's get the reloading tool out now. Where is it there? Let's use these now. Will you create the enhanced ammo? Oh, we can do it now. Yes, good. Okay, before I do that, I'm going to combine them all. So, now uh, oh, wait. If I say no now, it's just going to create normal ammo because I've already done it now. Because if you say no, it'll just create the normal parabellum round. So I'll have to say yes just to make some. Okay. Anyway, this is the enhanced ammo. You get 17 of it. 9mm parabellum rounds added with powerful powder. Was it called Black Taurus? Created with a reloading tool. Used for either the M92F or the Sig Pro. Yeah, the Sig Pro is the gun that um, Carlos has, but we can't use the powerful rounds with Carlos it, with the Sig Pro in this playthrough. We need to do it in the Mercenaries game. We can only do it in the Mercenaries game with Nikolai because he has a Sig Pro in the Mercenaries game. Yeah, so let's combine the other two to make uh, gunpowder AA and then let's combine with this now. Will you create the enhanced ammo? Yes. And we get 
39. Right, let's combine. I'm annoyed I couldn't make AAA there and make more, but never mind. Okay, so now I have 56 enhanced ammo. Nice. Um, we will save that. Because we can use, yeah, we can only use that with the M92F, not with the Desert Eagle. So yeah, we now have the, enha the enhanced ammo, which is what I wanted. It's a bit loading tool away. Let's get the handgun out again and load some up. Uh, won't need the oil for a while. Put that away. We'll need the bronze book shortly, so might as well do that now. Uh, mm, I'll do. I'll need to do that now anyway. So I'm going to put the wrench away because I can get it out again. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll keep the book out. Let's combine some of this stuff here. Combine. There we go. Let's have a check now. Enhanced M92F custom. It's loaded with enhanced 9mm parabellum rounds. Okay, now let's go and uh, let's go and save the game now. Let's put these special bullets away. Let's keep them keep them safe. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, ink ribbon and let's save the game. An old typewriter, blah blah blah. Yeah. Okay, let's save the game. Okay, we've done a lot in this video. That's why it's up to 46 minutes now. Just before I end the video, though, I'll save it and I'll just um, I'll quickly show you uh, using the enhanced on the on one of the zombies. The zombie out here. As I've saved the game, I won't we, uh, I won't be wasting them. I'll, ju I'll just show you the using the gun. So have a look at this baby. Yeah, nice and powerful. You see, the good thing is it always pushes the zombie back. Unlike the uh, even with the um, with the Desert Eagle, I believe it doesn't always push the zombie back. Whereas the enhanced ammo always pushes the zombie back, so even if a zombie is really close to you, you can be sure that uh, you can be sure that one bullet from the enhanced will always push a zombie back away from you. That's the beauty of it. Oh, oh, blimey, blimey, he's after me. Have some enhanced. out. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you see, this doesn't push them back every time, you see? You see, it didn't push him back. You see, that didn't push him back. Oh, but it does get headshots. You can't get headshots with the enhanced, so it's a bit of a trade-off which one you use, but, but ultimately, ultimately, because the... Um... Um... Because the enhanced always pushes the zombies back, the enhanced um, is actually preferable because the enhanced it isn't luck whether it pushes them back, whereas the the headshot thing with the Desert Eagle is luck based really. So the enhanced is actually is actually better in my opinion uh, for zombies and things rather than the, the Desert Eagle. Although it's more sort of quote unquote expensive to get the ammo because you have to waste well, not waste but you have to use gunpowder, lots of gunpowder to make it. Anyway, that's the end of the video. So thanks for watching. Uh, next part we'll be exploring the, the city further and um, hopefully getting the machine oil and and the uh, we uh, what we need for the machine oil and the fuse and everything. So thanks again and goodbye.